everybody, just want to welcome you back to the 2021 school year. Last year did not end the way any of us expected for it to end. I just want to say though how proud I am of the way everybody handled that change in the middle of March. Uh, we had lots of different people in different positions um, that handled it different ways. So for example, our bus drivers, our um, child nutrition workers, our maintenance workers, our custodians, they all were frontline workers that had to jump right in and make sure that our students were still going to get fed and that our schools were still going to be okay. We are here uh, socially distancing in the Concord High School cafeteria with Nicole Legi. If you will, Nicole, just introduce yourself. Okay, hi everybody. I'm Nicole Legi. I am currently the um, cafeteria manager at Concord High. I've been with Cabarrus County Schools. This is going on my 11th school year. And so, again, from the beginning, people just stepped right up, kept feeding, making sure that we were going when in the world we were trying to figure out what this looks like. And you guys haven't missed a beat throughout the summer and we'll pick right back up when we start school. So obviously, we really appreciate everything you guys have done to make sure our kids stay fed. So as you've done that, um, who all have you got, who have you relied on or who have you had to lean on to make sure this would work? Um, and again, especially if anything changed from, from you know, before March to March. Um, well, of course, you know, the SNP office is fantastic. We go to them with any kind of questions that we have to depend on. A lot of community, we've depended on the community to get the word out. Um, we really want these kids, anybody 18 and under, to come and eat. The food is available for them. Um, so, you know, networking, community, spreading the word. Uh, we've had a lot of stores to help donate. We've had, I don't want to name them because I'm not sure if I can, but um, we've had them donate bags to us so that we can put the food in you know in shopping bags for the kids um, the bags the donation of the bags has been huge for us huge One of the things I'm most proud of is the way that our teachers and students reacted to this change in the middle of the year. So we did take a little bit of time to talk to Emily Wagner, our Cabarrus County Schools Teacher of the Year, and Mason Furr, a rising junior at Mount Pleasant High School. And we are here with the 2021 Cabarrus County Schools Te Teacher of the Year, Emily Wagner. Emily, if you can, if you will just kind of tell us how long you've been teaching and where you've taught at. I've been teaching for six years, going into my seventh year this fall. My first five years, I taught at Weinkoff Elementary. Um, and this past year, I joined the staff at R. Brown McAllister STEM Elementary School. I kind of want to talk about this year. Um, when we got to March, obviously, the world changed and school system changed. So how has that been from a veteran classroom teacher? Obviously, what changed for you? How, or, or how can you describe um, how that's been as a teacher? So the biggest shift that I think that we had to make um, when March 13 happened, at first we just had to accept that it was happening. I think when we all um, kind of left the school on Friday, we didn't know that we weren't going to be returning. Um, so I think the biggest thing was just working together to make that adaption and all of a sudden all of us were faced with something that we had never faced before and obviously had to figure out a way um, to take what we know that the students needed to be successful to be ready for the next grade but adjust it to the new expectations of remote learning. But I think once we kind of accepted our new reality and found ways to start adapting, that's when we started to be more successful. Well, that's great. You've talked about a couple of things like teachers and how the relationship with teachers and parents have changed a little bit. So can you also talk about the, the difference in the way that relationships with students has changed? And as we've all gotten used to this, like who have you leaned on or who have you had to lean on and how have you leaned on them to, to get to the place that you're at? So I think the difficulty of not being able to see each other is hard, but I think what we I want people to know about our students is that students are going to rise to the expectations that you set for them. Our students are going to adapt and get used to online learning and the relationship building with the students is still going to be there. We're just going to have to pivot and find different ways to make those connections and maybe do a little bit extra at the beginning of the year to make sure we're touching base with all of those students. Um, as far as those relationships that you need to be successful with online learning, you really have to lean on your team. 
um, your, and that's not just your grade level team, it's the vertical teams that you are in the building with, your administration, you know, your front office staff, your TAs. It's going to take a team of everybody working together and leaning on each other to be successful. For the first time, teaching and learning is truly visible for anybody who has access to your Canvas page to see. Whereas before, it's just me and my students are in the classroom, you know, somebody might come through and do a walkthrough, but you know, parents weren't really in the classroom on a day to day basis. And so now we have learning so visible for anybody to see that everybody has a strength that can support somebody else in another classroom. We are here with Mason Fur. Mason, if you don't mind, can you introduce yourself, tell what school you go to and what grade you're in? I'm Mason Fur from Mount Pleasant High School. I'm in 11th grade. Thank you. All right, so what we're talking about a little bit is just the uniqueness of last year and how it kind of happens. Can you just kind of talk about what was different um, once you started on remote, how that was different from what you were doing before? Yeah, I think it was definitely weird going from, you know, waking up at six o'clock every day, getting ready, having to be at school by a certain time, to having to be fluid to where I can make my schedule work for me, and just get my work done whenever. I was available to actually work on it and be able to get done. So that was a big difference. So when you talk about your fluid schedule, it sounded like you thought that was positive. So is that positive, negative, a mix of both? Or what would you say about that, that fluid? That was a good thing because it definitely, you could get more sleep if you wanted to, or you could keep waking up. I guess if you could even get like, if you had a job, it allowed you to work more hours, so. And like, have you figured out ways to socialize at all? Yeah, um, I know a lot of people that would, drive and meet each other in like a Walmart parking lot and they would just park next to each other so they'd stay like six feet apart. So just want to say again, I'm proud of how we handled that and then we know that this year is going to be a very unique year too, right? We're obviously beginning in um, C, which is remote instruction. We may move in and out. We could, before the year's over, move into B, which is a form of hybrid. We could move back to C and hopefully before the end of the year we'll be in face-to-face -face instruction and we'll have a vaccine. But right now we just don't know. So the most important thing for us to do is to be flexible to be patient, to make sure that we know that we don't always know exactly what tomorrow will look like. Just get ready for that and get ready for change so we can adapt to that. And last, we just wanna emphasize safety. Safety is our biggest concern this year and it starts with the three W's, which is to wait six feet apart, to make sure that we wash our hands, and then to make sure we're around others that we mask up and wear a mask. And so just again, wanna say thank you. Have a great year. We're very proud of you. Let's lean on each other and have a great 2021 school year.